Welcome back again. So we have uh, started with the TTT diagrams and now we'll see some examples about their use. So for this example, it says find the final microstructure for an eutectoid steel that has been heat treated as follows. The first step means heated to the austenizing temperature uh, for 20 minutes. This step uh, is essential and this is to make sure that we are starting with 100% austenite. So when you are designing a heat treatment, you should um, mention this step. So if, for the exam, I ask you to, to design a heat treatment using TTT diagrams, the first step is always heating to the austenizing temperature, uh, state what the, that temperature is, and the time that you have to wait there. If you have no information about the thickness of the material or the part you are going to be treating, then always use 20 minutes or at least 15 minutes. Okay? So the second step is the, the one that we need to further analyze. So we start um, by this temperature and we quench to 800 Celsius. So this is step number one. Quench to 800 and we have to wait for 100 seconds. So this is 100 seconds, so it means that we have to wait until we reach that point, which is this one. So we can notice that we cross the starting line for transformation, we cross the 50% transformation line. This is something I haven't told you. So this is the 50% transformation mark. Uh, some graphs have different marks for 10%, for 90% and so on. So usually if you have only one, this is the 50% mark. This is the starting and this is the ending. So we are crossing the starting, we are crossing the 50%, and now we are crossing the end part. So by waiting 100 seconds, then we have transformed from 100% austenite, which was the starting point, austenite, sorry. And now we consume 50% of that austenite, we consume 100%, so this is the end result, which is um, a transformation that will give you 100% watts uperbionite. In this diagram, we have coarse perlite. This is the end region for the coarse perlite. This is fine perlite, and this is the end region for the fine perlite. This is upper bionite, and this is the end region for the upper bionite, and lower bionite, and this is the region for the lower bionite. So this end point, this temperature, lies in the upper bionite, and then we further quench. So the, the third step, I will use a different color, the third step is quench. In water, water will boil 100 Celsius, so now we are quenching to 100 Celsius. So we are crossing this line, but there is no more austenite, so we have no more austenite. So, regardless of this situation that we are quenching and we are entering into this region there is nothing to transform. So the final microstructure will be upper bionite, and the hardness of this upper bionite is 41 Rowell C. 
and will be 100% of bionite with a harness of 41 Rockwell C. Okay. This is another example. Find the final microstructure for an optectoid steel, so it's the same diagram. Um, and it has been treated as follows. Again, step number one is just um, to state that we are starting with 100% austenite. And then the, the second step is quenching to 800 Fahrenheit for 10 seconds. So again, 800 Fahrenheit, so we are lowering the temperature after we reach 800 Celsius, and we wait 10 seconds. So this is 10 seconds, so we have to stop here. So we are close enough, I will say, to the 50% mark. So let's say that this will result in 50% what? 50% upper binite. What's the hardness of this upper binite? 41 troubles. Now, what is the rest? Well, the rest continues to be 50% Austenite. So in the third step, we quenching water. So now we are quenching. So this is reach, the region for martensite. So we no longer have 100% austenite. We started with 100% austenite, but then we consumed 50% in this step, so now we only have 50%. So this will be 50% marked site. So the end result will be 50% of a binite with 41 Robel C and 50% Martin site. What's the hardness for the Martin site? We can use this value 57 um, Robel C. So the, the end result is 50% upper bionite with a harness of 41 C and 50% 50, 50 martensite. We are not stating here the harness, but you can say, oh, it has to be 57 C because this is the last value that we have. By the way, the harness of martensite depends on the amount of carbon that you have in your steel. Um, let's see another example. So now we want to determine the final microstructure for the eutectoid steel that again is being heat treated first for full austenite, then quench for 800 Fahrenheit 10 seconds, then quench for 600 for 300 seconds, and then quenching water. So again, we'll start with the first step. So in the first step, we have 100% austenite, and then for the second step, we quench to 800 Celsius. And we wait for 10 seconds. So now we have to wait the 10 seconds, like in the previous example. So because of this, uh, now we have 50% of a binite, and there is left 50% austenite. So in step number three, we further quench to 600 Celsius and we wait 300 seconds. So this is 100, 200, so 300 is about here. So we wait 
300 seconds. So we have a 50% transformation, okay? But this 50% is for the remaining austenite. So we only have 50% left. So the 50% of this 50% will be 25%. So 25% of lower bionite, and we still have 25% of austenite. Now for the last step, we quench in water. So now we are quenching to this temperature. And quenching in water will be really fast um, cooling. So we don't have to wait. And if we wait anyway, transformation will happen. So this 25% haustenite, which is the remaining one, will be transformed now in 25% martensite. So what will be the end result? 50% um, upper bionite with a hardness of 41 Robolcine plus 25% of lower bionite with a 50 Robolcine plus 25% martensite with a hardness of you can say also 57 right let's see uh, I think I have another example let me see yes now let's find the final microstructure for the same eutectoid steel but we have um, these conditions. Um, the first is the austenizing temperature, quenching 1000 Fahrenheit, 2.4 seconds, quench to 600 Fahrenheit for 300 seconds, and then quenching one. So let's make a, a stop in this video. Roberto, if you can help me with that, and let's give you some time for solving this um, problem. And once you finish, let's continue the video so you can see my, my solution and compare with yours. Okay? Okay. Let's see how we solve this problem. So again, sorry, let me use the black marker. So we hit to 1500 Fahrenheit, so we have 100% austenite and now we quench to 1000 Fahrenheit and wait 2.4 seconds so this is 2 so 2.4 should be something about this by the way I didn't mention but this is a logarithmic scale so it's not linear so the distance between 2 and 2.4 is very little so believe me, it's about here. So we quench to 1000 and we wait 2.4 seconds. So again, we are crossing the, we are touching the 50% transformation line. So now we are going to have 50% um, fine perlite with a 40 row well seen. Then in the third step, we are further quenching to 600 Fahrenheit, and we are waiting 300 seconds. So again, 300 should be about here. Where is this one? So we reach another 50% transformation line, um, but because we have already consumed Sorry, we have already consumed 50% of the austenite, so we are starting with only 50% austenite. So now we'll have 25% um, lower bionite, 50 Robolcine, 
And the final step is quenching in water. So now we'll have the remaining 25% austenite. Um, now will be transformed fully into martensite. Um, so 25% martensite. So the end result will be 50% fine perlite with a 40 rowel C, 25% lower bionite with 50 rowel C, and 25% martensite with, you can say, 57 rowel C. So, could be more complex than this. Um, for instance, um, what happens if you stop to quench to 800 and stop here in the middle? Um, so, if that happens and you are at the middle point, then this will be half of this distance, so will be 25% transformation. If you wait here in the middle of this tie line, so this will be 75% transformation. So you can always work out points between transformation lines by checking how much proportionally is the stop point related to the reference 50% and 0%, 50% and 100%. So in this example, so I always selected a, a time so we can reach the 50% transformation, but you can select any time or get the, the amount you need for, for the transformation. Um, also, I didn't mention, but imagine that you are quenching a round bar. So if you have a round bar and you are quenching it, heat transfer starts um, from the surface. So heat will be transferred away from the surface. So the, the first um, to transform, the first volume to transform is the one at the surface. So if you are quenching to certain temperature, let's say this one, and you are waiting a certain time, then this part will be the one that is being transformed into upper binite, for instance. And then if you further quench to this temperature, it is the one at the center that might be um, changing um, because of the way heat transfer is taking place. So it's, it's really more complex than this, but that's the way we, we analyze these heat treatments problems. Um, if thickness is not really big, we are talking about plates less than an inch think like a quarter of an inch of less than that, then we'll be safe using these calculations. But if we have uh, a considerable thickness, then we have to use a different approach. I think you will see that in the labs. It's called the Jomini test. So Jomini tests are used for analyzing situations um, in which you have really big thickness in your material. Okay?
This is another problem. So let's give you again a few uh, moments for you to, to find an answer. So please stop the video and try to find a solution and we'll compare that with my answer in a moment. Okay, let's see how we solve this problem. So we again start with this um, austenizing temperature. So we have 100% austenite. Then we quench for the second step to 1200. We wait 100 seconds, which is this line. So we wait until we are here. So we are crossing everything here. So we are quenching here and waiting. So we have a full transformation. Coarse perlite with this harness. So for the third step, um, and the fall step, we don't care because we have left 0% austenite, so there is nothing left for transforming. So the, the end result will be 100% coarse perlite with a hardness of 32 Rowell C. This is another example, so try to do this again. So let's give you a few moments for you to work out the solution and then we'll compare with my solution. Okay, now um, again the customary 100% Austenite, then we quench the second step to 1200. But now we are waiting only 18 seconds, so this is 10, this is 20, so it's very close to this one, but a little bit to the left. So again, we are reaching the 50% transformation into coarse perlite and there are 50% austenite left for the next step. Um, in the next step we are quenching to 600 Fahrenheit so we are quenching from here to here 600 and we are waiting 2000 seconds. So this is 1000, this is 2000 seconds which is this value. Um, so we are crossing the final um, line, the finish line. So that means that now this 50% uh, that was left of austenite, it is fully transformed into lower bionite with 50 rho C. And for the quench, we don't care because there is no more austenite left to do anything. So although we quench, there is nothing left for Martin site. So the, the final microstructure will be 50% coarse perlite with 50% lower bionite of 50 rho we'll see. So that's it for the TTT diagrams. Um, let's have a break and we'll move to the final part of the class, which is the CCT diagrams.